I'm Matt Lagore, your host, and I do a show here from North Reading Cable Access uh, about once a month. I'd like to do it a little bit more, but believe it or not, it's uh, not that easy to get people to come on TV. When I used to do my radio show, it was a lot easier. People would come on probably because they could do the show uh, in their underwear, and you can't do that here at North Reading Cable Access. They just won't allow it. Uh, but my show is about being an entrepreneur. It's about inspiration. It's about business. Uh, various subjects. You know, the, the, the day and age we live in now, we have so much negativity and so much bad news, and, and for that matter, so much fake news. We don't even know what's real. It's kind of all out there designed just to upset you. So I decided that I wanted to have a show that wouldn't upset you, a show that would inspire you and uh, even give you some good information, you know, or give you some good tactics for life because, you know, we live in a world now, um, they call them like real world problems. Uh, you know, we talk about problems that weren't problems, say, 20 years ago, but they seem to be now. But nonetheless, I have to say there's still problems. There's still issues that people cope with, you know. Uh, and uh, being good at something that's a real world problem solver, I think, is really uh, interesting. And Sunday, I was watching uh, my favorite show, which is the CBS Sunday Morning. I watch that every Sunday because it's so well written, so well done. And every guest they have on, whether I think they're going to be interesting or not, they, they always are. And they had this woman on, and her name was, uh, I believe it was Marie Kondo. And she's an she's a, a Asian uh, woman, young girl, probably in her early 20s. And she specializes in... Uh, organizing and removing clutter because isn't that one of the uh, problems uh, real world problems we have now is we have clutter we don't know what to do with all our stuff so she comes in and she goes through people's personal belongings and she reorganizes them and gets rid of probably 75 percent of your stuff 75 percent of your clothes and she does it in a really unusual way and like the way she did it with the clothes was she would dump everything on the floor and go through each item, and she'd ask, she'd tell you, ask you a question, and say, "Does this bring you joy?" And if the answer was yes, you kept it. If it was no, you thanked it and you got rid of it, uh, and you probably repurpose it, put it in a bag, give it to Goodwill. Well, it was fantastic. I put a video of her up on my Facebook page, um, uh, the Matt Lagore Show on Facebook. Uh, take a look at it. I actually use some of her techniques with some of my clothes, and amazingly. I get rid of about 75% of the clothes that I had because I never wear them. You just we wouldn't believe how many clothes you never wear. The other real world problem I think uh, now is um, making a living, having a business, uh, being productive. How do you find the right business? Uh, and one of the issues with that is there's so much, there's so many distractions. I went to a franchise expo over the weekend and I saw so many interesting little businesses that were short money to start. Uh, I saw businesses that were from like $5,000 to start a franchise to $300,000. But I was amazed at how many little businesses there were, how many opportunities there are. And one thing, though, while I was there, is I realized that people talk way too much. Way too much. They talk and talk and talk, and they basically talk them out of a sale. You know, if you're going to be a salesman, you've got to learn to listen and not talk. And you're probably saying right now, I talk too much, right? And I just keep going. Well, I'm not done yet. So the other real world problem is uh, staying in shape, right? Staying in shape, being healthy, uh, having goals, focusing, getting where you want to go, right? Like everyone, you know, probably has that feeling like, I, I can't stay in shape. I don't know what to do. But yet you know what to do. You know it's diet and exercise, but you can't put it together. Well, I have on my show today, I have a, a great guest who can help you with that, help you with your goals, help you with your health, health help you with your fitness. Uh, his name is Nate Wachowski. His business is My Warrior Training. And Nate, welcome to the Matt Lagore Show. I'm going to switch over here. We're going to go <laughs> now to a little bit more personal view. Looks good. Nate, so did I say that right? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, the Warrior Athlete uh, Program. Um, my, my blog is mywarriorlifestyle.com. Um, and what I really try to do on that blog is talk about a lot of different things. Um, you know, like you said, a lot of people are interested in fitness and health. Um, I think that all that stuff starts with a mindset mm -hmm. and goal setting. Mm -hmm. Um, so 
where I talk a lot about fitness and working out and, um, and weight training and things like that. A lot of the things that I talk about as well are morning routine, um, having a daily strategy every single day, how to build habits. Um, and so that's, that's kind of what I want to really teach people and, and help people um, you know, figure out for themselves. Yeah, that's very important. So again, how do we get in touch with you? How do we find your, uh, your website, uh, find a way to learn more about what you're doing? Yeah, so the, the best thing that people can do is, is go to the website, which is mywarriorlifestyle.com. Um, I'm posting weekly there, blog posts. Um, that's where you can find the full description of the 12-week program that I just launched uh, a, a month ago. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a huge description application there for you to apply and send over to me. Um, and then and also, I'm, I'm big on social media. Um, that's pretty much, social media is pretty much where I really run my business and get that awareness out there. So um, on Facebook, Nate Wachowski, um, the warrior athlete, if you search that. Um, and that, Facebook's probably the, the best place where you can, you can find me. So do you come from a background of a lot of athletics? I do, yeah. What kind of sports did you play? Yeah, so I played baseball my entire life. Um, I played four years of collegiate baseball as well. Where'd you play? At Bentley University. Yeah? yeah. What position? I played, started off playing second base, soon found out I wasn't the quickest guy to play second <laughs> base, so uh, I had a good arm, so they put me at third base, and yeah. I uh, played three years at third base. So. That's good. You didn't get stuck at first base. No. You know? no or right no. field. No, exactly, right? <laughs> Picking dandelions out in the outfield. Didn't want that. You know, my daughter played softball, all right? And when they're little, it's, you know, hitting off a tee. Then they pitch. And my daughter, not the greatest softball player, she spent a lot of time in right field. Yeah. You know? <laughs> hey, hey they, but they usually have the best bats, though. They put the, the guys with the best bats, they usually put on the corner. So yeah. she must have been... Uh, no, you know, no not, not really. No. <laughs> You know what she was good at? Taking walks. She really had a good yeah. eye for taking hey, walks. Hey, they she got on base. You, you, need, know? you need people like that on the team. That's right. Anything, whatever you can do. So now with the warrior training, what, what can someone expect from that? Mm -hmm. So it's a 12-week it's a program. Um, and what it really includes is finding a daily strategy and creating habits um, through mindset and fitness to reach mm -hmm. your goals. Mm -hmm. Um, so the first 30 days are probably the most important days of the entire program. So that's probably the, the toughest part of the program. Um, it's really where you build that foundation where you really, you know, get in tune with exactly what you want to accomplish in the next 12 weeks. Yeah. Um, so it's where you create your goals, you create your vision, where um, I give you a, a training program mm -hmm. um, for you to do, depending on how often you can get to the gym, how many hours you're willing to commit to the gym, um, which is probably an important thing to, to understand is that the, the, the program, it's, it's customizable. So it's, it's not gonna be a one size fits all for everyone. It's not gonna be the same thing for everyone, um, which is why I, I like to really get to know my clients um, before we even start start anything. So that's why that's, there is that application. I also have an hour phone call before I even write up the program because I want to get to know them. I want to know exactly what makes them tick. What are they doing now? What are they struggling with? Um, what do they want to accomplish? And then from there, that's how I create the the 12 week program for them. All right, so everybody just doesn't get up and do 100 push ups, 100 sit ups no. and, and run two miles, no, right? No, uh, not at all. So, you know, it's funny because like when I was talking in the intro, I said that, you know, health and fitness is diet and exercise, right? It's not really because if it was just diet and exercise, everybody would do it, right? right. You talked about mindset. Mm -hmm. That's probably the most important part, isn't it? Right, yeah, no, definitely. Um, it's it's something that I think that I I really, pride myself on, um, especially through my, my athletic career. Um, I was captain of almost every single team that I played for. Really? Yeah. Um, and I think that was due to my mindset and being able to not push my mindset, but help inspire other people to have that strong mindset as well um, on my team. So, um, yeah, I mean, you're 100% right. Like, I mean, mindset is, mindset is everything. And 
what I think a lot of people don't understand is that the amount that it takes to get to where you want to be is usually only this much. Mm -hmm. Like it's not, it's not mm -hmm. like you have to do cr uh, crazy amounts of things. I mean, I wake up at 5 a.m. 5 a. every single day. Mm -hmm. That's, you, don't, you, don't, you don't have to be that, that, that type of person. You just have to do a little bit every single day moving towards those goals and you know over time if you're patient enough you know those those things will happen for you right so now where does some of this come from like uh obviously you had some good influence in your life to be you know not everybody's the captain of the team right mm -hmm. only one person's the captain yeah. and they don't just pick it out of a hat they pick the person who's going to lead the team right right so what were who are some of your influences yeah i mean obviously right off the bat you're obviously close with with my parents mm -hmm. I mean, they're they're some of the best leaders that you know I I know out there. Um, besides them, um, you know, I look to a lot of people, um, you know, a lot of business people um, like Tony Robbins. Yeah. Um, I follow a lot of people on social media that you know I look up to. Um, Who are a couple? Name a couple. Yeah. So a couple, uh, a couple people like in the fitness industry um, that I definitely recommend everyone to go look at um, Corey Gregory yeah. guy out of uh, Ohio um, runs the old school gym um, Steve Weatherford mm -hmm. who uh, was the punter for the um, Super Bowl uh, team uh, New, New York Jet uh, New York Giants sorry yeah um, and uh, who's another one and uh, Zach Homel from yeah. uh, Indianapolis he's he's another one he's actually a 25 year old just started his own gym about a year ago um, so I mean, those guys definitely look up to. I mean, then going into business, um, probably the number one guy I'm looking at over and over and over again uh, is Gary Vaynerchuk. Yeah. I mean. He's the best, Gary that, V, yeah. That guy fires me up like, yeah. <laughs> like, like no one else. So, um, yeah, so I definitely, I definitely look at him as well. Yeah, Gary V is fantastic. Yeah. So you got some good outside influences. Uh, you were very fortunate. You grew up in a really great family. Mm -hmm. You know, I was telling you before, and you were kind of smiling. But uh, your family is is the furthest thing from dysfunctional, yeah. really. Uh, you know, you guys all love each other. You get along. Uh, you get good parents who are always going. You know, mm -hmm. always going and moving forward and everything. And that's really, you know, that's a blessing. You know, and I know yeah. you know that. Uh, and you you haven't squandered. You know that mm -hmm. uh, none of you have. None of you have squandered yeah. that. Uh, the Wachowskis give me a lot of good airtime. I was telling oh, yeah. you, you know, between your parents, you, your sister, and, and there's more to come. Yeah. You know, the Wachowskis are just growing. No. <laughs> all right. It's going to be pretty soon, I think. I, I read an article that it's going to, uh, it's only going to take six people to be connected to a Wachowski. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Um, so tell me, so like, what are some of your other, uh, uh, aspirations or goals that you have like I mean obviously you have your warrior training yeah you give the website again yeah yeah the website mywarriorlifestyle.com um, all the all the blog posts on there videos um, I do vlogs as well so I kind of bring people around like my day-to-day -day, like for people to just see like what 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 am I doing what does the warrior lifestyle look like from the person who created it. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I kind of want to give people like an inside inside look at exactly what that looks like. Um, I mean, other things that I'm interested in, um, I'm also, I'm partnered with uh, Market America and shop.com, yeah. mm -hmm. which is a, um, you know, internet marketing company. Um, so, you know, heavily into that. Um, I also enjoy music. Yeah. I, I enjoy uh, traveling mm -hmm. as well, um, thanks to my wonderful girlfriend who I met in college. If it wasn't for her, then, I mean, she she's bringing me to so many different Where did you go last, world. you were telling me? Yeah, so uh, so I quit my job about four months ago. Um, after I quit my job, I went two weeks to Thailand. Mm -hmm. And um, I just had an amazing experience. I, It's such a eye-opening experience such a different part of the world for, so for what was like see. the biggest thing you took from that when you were there the biggest thing that i took from it funny enough was how entrepreneurial they were there yeah everyone owned their own business wow. and and everyone was very self-efficient mm -hmm. um so you know like if you, a lot of people own farms 
Um, and then, you know, from those farms, then they have a food stand in the city yep. where then they're going, they're selling their food or they're mm -hmm. selling it to, you know, other vendors or, mm -hmm. or whatever. So I, I, I did not expect to be, to see that many, you know, entrepreneurs in Thailand. Like you want to hear a crazy statistic? I went to that, uh, franchise expo last uh, weekend and in the corner, stuck in the corner. All right. Was, uh, immigrant entrepreneur. Yeah. It's a website, all right, and it's a, it's, a, it's a group, all right, and they focus on immigrants who want to start a franchise. 82,000 immigrants start franchises in America every month. Wow. Yeah. I was, like, shocked, yeah. all right, because, like you said, they're entrepreneurial. So, mm -hmm. so you saw that over there yeah. in Thailand yeah. that they were they, they had these entrepreneurs. So that's is that that's one of the biggest takeaways you got. From yeah, them. yeah, that that was too. And um, how uh, tolerable to uh, spicy food that they have <laughs> because I've never tasted anything more spicy. Were than you? They did are. you get like? Did you get like hammered one meal like you just didn't yes. expect it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was actually it was like a like second or third night we got. Um, some like uh like chicken with uh like chili paste or something uh -huh. like that and uh did you get our, one of the chili peppers yeah i mean my mouth is all <laughs> like i mean it's hot it's hot there so you're yeah. sweating constantly humid but like when you bite into one of those chili peppers you're you're sweating you're, you're crying almost. oh and i bet the chili peppers there are hotter than here oh yeah yeah like 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 lights out yeah hot. my friend used to grow peppers he grew jalapeno and haban habanero. Yeah, yeah. All right. And the habanero are like hotter than jalapeno. Right. And the ones he grew in his garden were like 10 times hotter <laughs> than the ones you could buy anywhere. Yeah. All right. And so like someone was like, I can do it. And they took a, a little, a t we cut a sliver of the habanero. They were done for like an hour. <laughs> and then Brilliant. one person who was touching them rubbed their eye. Oh, there you go. And it was, it Game was over. over for them for the rest of the night. They had to <laughs> <Yeah>. go home. <laughs> That's all right. So, so you get to you get to travel, go to Thailand. Mm -hmm. um, uh, any other good places you gone? Um, I'm, I mean, uh, the year before that, we did um, a few weeks in Europe. Where we went to uh, Budapest and London and uh, Vienna, mm -hmm. um, which was amazing. I'm um, going to Ireland next month um, and Copenhagen next month, um, just for uh, like a like a week. Um, that's pretty much all I got. It was a good thing you right quit now. your job. I know. I know. I wouldn't have. That was, that was one of the reasons I wouldn't have any See, but that's uh, great, vacation you know? time. So. That's awesome. Like, like you wouldn't. You wouldn't. I mean, what are you going to get? Two weeks, right. right? All right. Two weeks vacation, and that's it, you know? And, you know, it's hard to, like, plan a trip and really do anything. Yeah. Because you're probably not going to take two weeks in a row. You're going to take one week. You mm -hmm. know? So, now, while you're on vacation, all right? and uh, your warrior training is going on, you can do all this. You can talk to people, right? Like via Skype and everything. Right. So you can communicate and run your business from, from right. a distance, right? right? Yeah, I mean, that was one of the biggest things that um, when I was quitting my job, um, you know, many people maybe in the past um, might not be able to, you know, take that entrepreneurial route because of all you know startup expenses or yeah. you know whatever it just takes a lot of time and, and effort and you really have to build you know build something um in order to to really go take that career path with what's going on right now with you know social media and the internet very minimal startup you know there's mm -hmm. there's, there's the the risk is almost none yeah to to, to start something you know yeah. like uh uh, take this for example, you know, if there's, peop if there's people out there that don't have all this, you know, production and all the lights and the green screen and the cameras and everything like that, but they can start their own YouTube channel, yeah. you know, and they can have their own talk, talk show mm -hmm. and they have Facebook in order to market that to everyone else. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's the opportunity right now to, to, to go and do your own thing is, is amazing. And, and, and you're right that, I can take it any, you can take it anywhere. I, I'm not stuck to any, I don't have a, I don't have a brick and mortar. I don't have a, I don't have a gym. I don't have a facility, anything like mm -hmm. that. It's all, it's all virtual. So wherever I can get a, if I want to go to Thailand, I can be in the coffee shop on the island with the beach view and I can, as long as they have Wi-Fi, I'm in business. 
pretty amazing when you think about nowadays, like just the communication, accessibility. It's, you know, it's, it's beyond unbelievable. Yeah. You know, when I was um, your age, when I was 25, there, I think, I think I had a cell phone. Mm -hmm. I did. I had a cell phone and it cost me like 75 cents a minute to use it. So it was like, and it, and it hardly worked anywhere. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you right. know, you know, no service, no service, one bar, you know, right. like it just didn't work. And I thought that was great. You know, and you had no idea what was to come. And I guess we still have no idea what I is mean, to come. I mean, it's crazy. You know? It's going so fast right now. Like just with everything that's coming out. Um, I mean, with social media, especially since that's pretty much my way of communicating, there's something new every single day. Like, and you have to stay on top of it to even stay like relevant and like, get the attention of, of people. So what's your favorite social media? Uh, which, which one do you use the most? Which brand do you use the most? Um, it's probably, it's probably Snapchat. Really? Yeah. I love Snapchat. Um, just because it's so, it's so personal and it's so easy to use. Um, I said before, like I do a vlog, which I, you know, I use a legit camera and everything. Um, and I really film myself and do cool edits and things like that. But with Snapchat, you can just pick out your phone and just be like, here I am, or, you know, give, give an idea or some motivation or, you know, it's just it's so easy just to. I got to ask you a question about Snapchat. All right. Uh, because, because I'm, I'm, I'm very novice. You I have you it. should be account. on Snapchat. I, I am. I am. But <laughs> you know, mostly it's to like put dog ears on my head. Okay. So what makes Snapchat? Like, I don't know Snapchat is anything but that for the most part. Yeah. What makes it such a a better form of communication mm -hmm. than um, Twitter? Um, well, I think first off is just video, I think is very, is very big right now. It's very, um, it's very important yeah. right now, you know, putting a, a face, not just where in Twitter it's just words. Yeah. Um, so I think that that's very important. Um, I mean, I, I think the coolest thing is the fact that now, like I said, like now you're able to get into people's lives a little bit more and really find out the day to day exactly what they're doing, what what these people are like. Like you can you can go and follow some some celebrities. Um, like one of them that I follow that I find interesting is like Kevin Hart, yeah. the comedian, mm -hmm. and he literally will bring you through his entire day from you know when he wakes up early in the morning and 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 uh, and works out to when he's on set. You know, for his movie, um, you is know, he doing just little short? Yeah. So Snapchat's only the longest video you can make is only ten seconds. Okay. Yeah. And is that what you're doing? Like a, a ten second video? Yeah. Five times a day, ten times a day. Yeah, yeah. It really, I mean, it really doesn't. I mean, it just depends on what you want to document. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's like one of the biggest things that um, you know hinders people from really starting what they want to start. Um, is the fact that they're they're trying to create too much. They're trying to make it perfect. They're trying to you know get the right lighting. They're trying to uh, you know get the right audio and things like that. Where it it doesn't matter. Just just document what you're doing and and be authentic with it. And you know people will be interested and people will want to start you know following you and so getting do to you know integrate you. Snapchat into Facebook into uh, or or is it just Snapchat? Um, so, I mean, Snapchat would, would just be Snapchat, um, where you can like start integrating things like that would be through, um, you know, let's say, uh, if you know, you have YouTube, mm -hmm. um, so you, you post a video on YouTube, but then you would post that same video on Facebook. So yeah. you can kind of like integrate yeah. that same piece of content, but distribute it, distribute it to uh, different platforms like yeah. that. Um, so is Snapchat like the new big thing, would you say? I would say, I would say it is, it's either, it's either snap, it's either Snapchat or I mean, Instagram, they started their own sort of Snapchat with Instagram yeah. stories, yeah. Um, which is very similar to that. Um, so it would be like, it would be one of those two, just because you can get that inside look of, you know, what, what's going on with people. And, and it's quick. People like that right, quick, right. you know? Um, so do you put like the dog ears on sometimes? Sometimes, yeah. If just I want for to fool fun. around, yeah. 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 But mostly it's just straight up, just hey, this is oh, Nate, this is me. Straight, I'm just doing yeah, right. exactly. I mean, it's one of the things also that I use to like um, 
you know, one of the big things when I'm, when I'm helping people create habits is, is, is accountability. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what I try to provide to people is to be that sort of accountability coach and keep them on track and, you know, make sure that they're doing the things that they should be doing every single day. Um, so, you know, I, I use Snapchat as that accountability. I have a few people that watch it every single day, but when I wake up in the morning, I, you know, just take a quick photo and you can slide over and put the time there. So it's like my accountability that, hey, I'm up, like, mm -hmm. in case, I don't know if anyone's wondering, but just in case anyone's wondering, yeah. like, you know. Well, you're just saying, I walk the walk. I, right, I right. don't just talk the talk, exactly. I walk the walk. Exactly. Um, now, do, do you start, why do you get up at 5 a.m.? So I use that as, like I said, I, I, I use it as a daily strategy. Um, so my mornings and the, the morning routine that I've created for myself, it's not, just, it's not just a routine or it's not just a habit. It's a strategy that I use in order to set myself up for success throughout the entire day. Mm -hmm. So without that time, that uninterrupted time in the morning, um, you know, I have to get up early where there's nothing going on. No one can bother me. I got no text. I'm not looking at email. Yeah. Nothing like that. So. And what do you do? So how long is that under uninterrupted time? That five un to. That under under. Um, it's probably five. It would probably be like five to eight. Three hours. Yeah. Because yeah. right. I'm working out for about like an hour and a half. Yeah. And then I get back home and. Um, go through my little thing, take my supplements, isotonics, and um, I meditate. Um, and then I kind of just like go through my to-do list of exactly what I'm going to be doing for, for that day. And then I'm ready to go. Wow. Yeah. That's a nice recipe for success. Yeah. Huh? So basically, you take your three hours in the morning for yourself, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So three hours, you get up, you work out, uh, you come home, take your supplements, eat your breakfast, meditate. Plan the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. What time yeah. do you go to bed? Ready to go. Uh, I go to bed anytime between 10 and 1030. Smart. So that's the biggest thing. Yeah. That's, that's the biggest thing. When, when, I, when, when people come to me and they're like, how do you, how do you wake up so early? Like, how, how do you do that? So I, I usually give them like a, a few things. One of the things is you have to go to bed. Yep. You can't stay up until midnight or 1230. Mm -hmm. like, so sleep is important. That's, yeah. that's, that's part of the game. That's part of living the warrior lifestyle is, is getting enough sleep so then you're ready to, to crush it the next day. Um, so that would, be like, that would be like one thing. The, the, the next thing would be um, to put your phone on the other side of the room because you have to get up. Yep. That's one of the biggest things. So the, so the alarm goes off, right? Yeah, yes. On the other side of the room. And you yep. have to get up. Yeah. And for the people that still have a hard time even getting up when the alarm clock is going off on the other side of the room, put your feet on the ground. Yeah. Because once you put your feet on the ground, you're up. Yeah. You're not going to go back to bed. Yeah. You know? So, um, so it was just like a... No, that's good. So, I mean, warrior lifestyle. All right, warrior lifestyle. Th there's no such thing as a Terminator and someone who never needs to sleep, right. never needs to rest, never needs nutrition. Uh, th that's baloney. You know, see it on TV where the guy's like, when, when's the last time you slept? I don't have time to sleep. Right, right. <clears throat> well, that's crazy, right? Right. You can't, you can't do that. You're just going to end up in the hospital at some <laughs> right. point. Right, right. Now, do you have a day that you just, like, kick back a little bit? Um... I mean, during the week, I'm pretty set in, in um, you know, with, with my schedule, with my, with my morning routine and mm -hmm. everything like that. The weekends, they can fluctuate. Usually, like, Sunday is the day where, you know, I might sleep in a little bit. Maybe, maybe until, until, like, 6. Yeah, yeah, maybe until, like, 8. Whoa, oh, yeah. wow. It's <laughs> really... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, that, that, that's, like, pretty much, like, the only day. All right, so the best way to get in touch with you. Yeah, the best way would be the website, mywarriorlifestyle.com. That's where you're going to get all the information about the program, 12-week program, um, where, you know, we really dive, it, it, we really dive in deep. Um, and, you know, you really get into, you know, your goals and your vision and, and what you really want to accomplish. Um, and all the blog posts are there, too. Um, you can find all my social media on the website as well, but the, probably the best place to, to find me on social media would be Facebook if you search Nate Wachowski, Warrior Athlete.
that's the best place right there. How about on Snapchat? How do we get you on Snapchat? Snapchat, I'm Nate Witkowski. Spell Witkowski. Yeah, so it's W-I-T-K-O-W-S-K-I. All right, easy enough to forget yeah. as soon as you hear it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, Nate, I really want to thank you. You've been a great guest. Yeah, no, All right. Thanks, one one awesome. of the youngest, if not the youngest guest, <laughs> but one of the most together guests I think I've ever had. Uh, so we're going to do it. Uh, we're going we're gonna to take on the warrior lifestyle, right? All right, and we're all going to get up at 5 a.m. should. <laughs> Try it. Try it for a week. Get see your how feet you, on the see floor. See how you feel. That's it. Get your feet on the floor. You're good. All right. We want to thank you for watching the Matt Lagore Show. We'll be back soon with another uh, interesting guest. Thanks for watching.